welcome to levelupyourgame.net. I'm Disrepute, joined by Batija. Hello, Batija. Hey, hey, how are this? <laughs> wow, we haven't heard you for a while. What a clean <laughs> intro that was. <laughs> Clanbase wow. EuroCup 24, Proctologist versus On Fire. Let's get into the game straight away. Wow, look. We're on the first map, which is going to be... Mouse is locked up. Brilliant. Uh, deep inside. Who picked this? Um, on fire, did they called the boat? Wow. Uh, this is probably done proctologists a favour here, because this we did expect this to be their map. So proct, really, we've got them, um, you know, open fire from whatever they want to pick, really. Yeah, so it's almost a little bit harder that sometimes. I mean, when we used to favour uh, Hidden Fortress, sometimes another team would pick it, and then we'd be like, well, to be honest, we kind of like the other maps, but I don't know which to pick, so... <laughs> In that case, you could always just let your opponent pick the other map as well. Let's have a look at the teams quickly before we ready up. MDF, Prezerg, Curvin, and Kiss for On Fire. All Swedes for Proct, Gizmo... Appleseed, Netta, and Zerg Spirit. Um, well, I guess props are probably going to be the favourites in this one. On fire were the qualifiers. Um, you got Gizmo and Zerg Spirit, national team players for France recently, who got to the final, so... I don't know, like, on fire could be surprising. They could um, maybe cause a bit of an upset on this one. Because we did play them on this and they were very good. Although, I can't remember if we were playing badly or whatever. Not no, we're not ever that great on this map, are we? <laughs> but, yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I'll take your point. It could be extremely close between these two teams, especially on this map. The second map will be Hidden Fortress. That's Prox map pick. You know what? I'm actually going to go with it on fire because wow. the speed they ready to suggests they've got a clear plan. They know what they're doing. And they're hopefully going to bring it and show us what their game is. Whereas Proct, you know, because they're not running up straight away. It's just like they're having to debate positions or something like that. That's what's going through my mind at the moment. <laughs> Based on or, experience. <laughs> usually, yeah. So they've got um, a deuce in their team, like, and they're just waiting for him to return. <laughs> possible. Loves his shopping trips. <laughs> so I'm going I'm, I'm to give him on fire for this one. Wow. Loads of AFK players there as I just cycle through them. Okay, well, I. Th oh, actually, AFK, fuck, I made it the wrong team. I think propped. But we'll see, eh? We'll put money on it, shall we? Yeah, okay. How much are we talking? NV uh, an NBC <laughs> wallet. NBC wallet. Yeah. So nothing. <laughs> I'll bet that um, Vor has to come to Dreamhack if if on fire win. But I suppose yeah, we would want him to go anyway, so we All can right. see him and his disabilities. And if I win, you have to play League of Legends. Oh no! <laughs> I have to reinstall that. Okay, okay, that's a that's, that's a deal. So yeah, just waiting on Apple C2 ready up deep inside old OSP5. As we often refer to it wrongly. I don't think it's ch anything has actually changed since the Quake 3 days. It might be a slight item placement movement or something, but I don't think so. I don't recall anything changing. And it still plays, I guess, relatively similar. Yeah, and you got the... Um Weapon changes, which are obviously going to make you know some differences to how it's played. But my one to Tommy so far, who's played this map in Quake Three, is more or less the same. Yeah, Relatively. that's a little bit more. Yeah, that's a little less emphasis on the rail and a little bit more on the shaft due to the like, damages, but nothing to totally swing like yes. favourite sides or anything exactly and also I think just um, generally the development of the play on this map at the end of Quake 3 was going the way of the way it's played in Quake Live a little bit more anyway with more emphasis on running the red and the bridge rather than just sort of setting and trying to hold the bridge 
like it was traditionally. But anyway, that is usually the primary zone, the bridge area with the railgun, access to quad. Try and time those yellows and push that red. What was the MG damage in Quake 3? Was it 4 or 5? 5. 5. We've seen, you know, if you've got a 5 damage MG in Quake 3, that lends itself to setting. Whereas, not, no, I was sort of in Quake 9 because you've got the ammo, but in terms of damage output, um, it's a, a little bit harder, perhaps, with the 4 MG. Yeah, every little adjustment does count, of course. So, I have to keep my voice a little bit um, down because. There are other people around me and I can be like disturbed. It doesn't quite lend itself to shout casting, but I will try. <laughs> whisper casting. But exactly, the emotive whisper casting. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Prepare your team. Yeah, Vor unfortunately has been suspended. That's why Batija is joining me. Three, two, yep. One. Fight. Being promoted and everything. Yeah. <laughs> right, so Kirvin's got the rail. I'm following Netta to start off with, who got the mega health. He's coming up behind Kervin, I guess, then with the rocket launcher. Yep, there it is. And he's confiscated that rail. Actually, he hasn't taken any damage either, so great start for Netta. And of course, I don't have any times on the board. I don't know if you've got a quad time up on I have got a quad time, yes. So is it early or late? Shall I continue my campaign of misinformation? <laughs> Quad's coming now. Oh, there it is, no. It's not, it was a lie. It actually, it's quite interesting how one player, Zergspear, did run right onto it as you said that. But. Put it this way, Proc tried to get the quad. Well, nice rush out. attack from on fire there, almost getting control of it. But Zergspear coming out on top, only 56 health with the shotgun rail. Plasma gun, not too much ammo in that though. Great rails to start off with. Helps himself up to 82. I don't know if the upper yellow's up, but I'd imagine it's fairly soon unless he's just missed it. There it is. Another frag, there's five frags in this run already and he's barely moved away from the quad area. It's actually quite intelligent play. That's six a pretty good run, run yeah. Six spirits, six frags, and they just pretty much like kept coming to him. You didn't have to do much. Or they just, like, or they just like, weren't aware of his position on the map. He's going back to his second yellow stack up, so it'd be interesting to see if he's going to be playing these yellows. We often see players try and control well at the top tier both yellows, one individual player, so the other three can push bridge or red. Takes a lot of damage from those rockets there though, just going to have to back off. I'm going to switch away from him, not really in the combat. Following MDF now, rocket launcher underground, he has got a shaft already, which is ammoed up to the brim. There's red armor, four on fire. Alright, port coming up in about 50 seconds, so we're probably going to see him move into um bridge area at least. Perhaps could proct a, a poke as it were. Just try and do some damage before the initial attack. Yeah, MDF looked like he was trying to uh, do exactly that, but a little bit out of range, and with rockets and LG, it wasn't the ideal weapons to attack with. Just backing off of this next red pickup. Probably want to start pushing now. There was a possibly they should have delayed red there. Um, so if they do get quad, they can, can get back to the red and not have a spawn attack it. Same time. MDF moving through two rail shots and he's basically Ouch. eliminated from that battle although they don't actually take him out and so he can still fire away a few rockets but look at that defense from Prox did any of them go down? not really sure but free quad oh what's the point in going up that late? it did look like they mistimed their attack I mean it looked like they were trying to steal it because one got, you had one guy like jumping on the quad spot but the quad was attacked up 10 seconds later, so you don't really want to be stood in right in the middle of the open. When the quad's spawning, you are just like a sitting duck. Gizmo missing that railgun. In fact, he's only got 9 health now. Nice rocket, but he almost actually got machine gunned because of the rocket knockup. Does back off for the 225s, misses yet another rail. He's not going to be too happy with his rail play at the moment, only hitting 30%. Got a couple of frags in that quad run. But he kind of got himself in a, an unusual position there where he wasn't really in a good location or getting the frags. Still, Proct do control this quad bridge area, and to me, it looks like On Fire do want to grab control of that themselves. The item timers, by the way, for anybody watching, has been disabled because that is the clan base ruling on this. And it has been that way in previous seasons as well, so it's nothing new. Um, I think it is perhaps something that we don't necessarily want to miss, but it stops teams from having a player 
sit in their voice comms, watch the stream and tell their teammates the item times. Guess my pushing forwards here with the shaft. Freezer goes down. Is that red going to be picked? But he's got, see, Gizmo had to pick up the last red, so he knows the time, so on fire in a really bad position now. They've got that bridge all red, and as you say, Nick, this is how the match played now. Gizmo can just run the red and come back to the bridge, keep it all clear, and lay on the hill to on fire. He must be coming up to setting up for quad time there. He has picked up that last red. I guess quad time maybe 46. So a few seconds to go, pushing from the bridge there with a the rail, in fact, Two of them killed by Gizmo. Good defensive play. Using his stack to uh, defend the quad rather than get the quad. And Zerg Spirit collects the power up. 225 has picked up. Rocket launcher in hand as well. Presumably knows the time of this yellow because he seems to be the guy controlling earlier on. Got to be careful those rails though. Has to back off. Teammate takes that yellow. Oh, nice. Well, MDF. For a little bit too eager pushing there. And he goes down off the spawn, but nice rail from Prezerg. Only two health. Here's that 50 up, just to the side of him. Covering the Mega with spam. I mean, for what we've seen, Prop seem to have pretty good control over the map, and yet, the score difference isn't massive. 40, well, 24 hours after 5 minutes is a bit big, if we're honest. You know, although they have had a good, they've had every quad so far and can massive amount of control, so perhaps it's not as big as it could have been. Actually, uh, on fire have had more reds than proc. 8 to 5. They've also had more yellows, 15 to 9, but less mega, 7 to 3 at the moment. As we see the quads, almost full amount of time there on the quad carries by proc. So is that really what on fire need to do? Get some quads? No, I think they've got pretty sharp raiders. I think they, they need to get bridge myself. And uh, really sort of let them play the way they want to. Gets my rushing back to the bridge with his red stack. And you see those rails coming out from Piss, was it? I think. Yeah, it was. He eventually is fragged himself, drops his rail to a teammate, was it? Oh, I'm a bit confused by that one. Forty-two percent rail from MDF. So to see if they are. This could be Prox first. Oh, um, on fire's first quad. Maybe, maybe not. Here we go up on the spot now. Zerg Spirit almost grabbing it. MDF comes out on top. All that machine gun spam is going to bring him down. In fact, there's Appleseed with the shaft in the back and Netta eventually getting the machine gun frag. Good grab by the power up though. Only got one frag out of it, I think. If he'd actually had a decent stack and maybe a weapon, he could have uh, taken out quite a few prop players there. Well, I well, when he picked up the, um, the quad, didn't he have the like sort of 40 armor? Pretty sure he had some armor. At least. Yeah, I think he had something like 50 health. Really, I thought he read 70. Wow. He doesn't really have any dent on the score anyway. 25 frag difference favour of Prox still. Looks like they're definitely getting a bit more aggressive on this quad area though. On the fire, trying to get control of it. Ah, nice MDF's ambush, a, yeah. Yeah, he's, this is a really good run by MDF. He's denied wow. the shaft and if he can hold on to this red armour in the next 10 seconds, he's going to put on fire in a really great position. Especially moving into this next quad. Presumably then he might want to go down for the LG as well. Because it was probably only just picked up before he got that frag. Doesn't decide to do that though. Netta going to be easily dispatched rocket shaft combo. Another frag through the uh, telly coming on this way. And Ouch. we'll nice pump. And this is a great run from... MDF we see here is going back for the next red. This is bad. They've gone three of them have gone to um to red and quads up in about ten seconds this week. Could go disastrously wrong. MDF really needs to start rushing to that quad area. Now they do have the bridge under control though, so it's not too bad. Drop the rocket off for Prezeg. There, it's a good steal by Piss in the end. Although really they should have been in a better position. Gotta be careful he doesn't get machine gun down by Gizmo. Shotgun is up. 
Ideal. The 25 was there as well. Could have got a grab on that, but of course he knows the red's up because his teammate took it previously. Two frags on the board already on this run. It's a 10 frag margin. You can start bringing this back brilliantly here. Zergspear! Oh my god, somehow that shotgun missed, but he does get the frag in the end, and Gizmo going to go down again. I'm not really sure why you just run sort of at the quad. Classic thing of the um, moment you've got red, move straight back to the bridge because they're going to attack it, and he caught them in as they were coming up the bounce pad, and he got was it five, six frags out of the quad run, which right, is pretty right. good, and it's now down to what seven frags difference, but eight now because pulled it back. It's quite, now it's like pretty much you know, anyone's game. Let's reach. That halfway stage in this first map is the best of three. So whatever happens, someone has to take victory. Oh, actually, yeah, there is, yeah. There is. This is your cup. Trying to curve now. Getting that up a yellow and suddenly from looking like he had nothing really, I think he had 12 health or something, didn't he? Suddenly in a great position, although good shotgun work from Zeg Spirit. A lot of cess over this quad area. What's it up in, like 15 seconds something? Uh, it's up in about, you know, 70 seconds. No, the Gizmo's in a good position to possibly steal this. He's got like sort of 65 armor. Come up bad, maybe a little bit early. Can take oh my god, two players up with the shaft. Working out pretty well. Why wow, that attack. What an attack, what the hell? That was sublime, wasn't it? Netta coming out with the quad, almost getting railed there, got to dodge it. His railable health there, his massive shotgun attack there. He's got to be careful, he doesn't get Cess down here, only 13 health, are the 225s up? They are, and then there's the red as well, this is going to work out brilliantly, oh! Almost rocketed, got to be careful still, oh my god. Well... Wow. Yeah, it's like the moment he dodged by having to jump down the stairs again, he knew that the quad was weak and then just pushed the fight, especially having the high ground with rocket launch it. It's like, Netta wouldn't have had much chance though, he's backing away. Sex Spirit coming at the bounce pad, he's picked up a row, he's actually in 65% with that weapon. And Prox again, sitting in this uh, bridge position. He's on fire attacking in the quad area, look at that. Easy rail shots for Zerg Spirit here. Impressive. And the fifth impressive. Excellent. Sixty-five percent. <laughs> Kevin surviving pretty well there. Let's have a look at the scoreboard quickly while there's a bit of a break in play. So MDF, of course, with the big positive net there for on fire. So we saw his run of frags. Gizmo, the guy for propped with the big net. Net has just stolen away the last red with all quad. I don't think any of MDF have any armor at all. Moving up to the quad area, all four at the same time. Great coordination there. In fact, they've got in a decent position. It might be difficult to defend it, though, against Prox Onslaught. MDF does grab the quad, but he's easily dispatched by Zeg Spirit's shaft. At least they were able to deny it and not have a, a quad to contend with. It keeps it getting nice and tight. Oh my god, Zerg Spirit Crater. I'm going to switch away from him. MDF with nothing. Cycle around further, pre Zerg. Only nades attacking here. Curvin has got the shaft, has got the red armor. Moving through the basement area. See his teammate waiting around. MDF, they're going to go at the bounce pad together. It looks like they are, though. Pretty sure you could hear the prop players above. Should have known they're going to take some damage, I guess. Assessing it is their tactics. Troy sent up his teammate first. It was a pretty good attack. Because he uh, sent up the teammate first to take the damage and maintain his arm stack. And now he's got the rail for it. Still roughly the same margin we've had for the last couple of minutes. <laughs> 2 HP on Kervin. Oh, nice rail. Seven impressives for Kervin. Moving back, back to the red armor area. 
could get a couple of red pickups in before the next power up. It was a pretty good decision by Kirby not to stay in force the fight, and he's held on to like two important guns and got red. Yeah, and he's looking beastly again. Now he should know the time of red, we saw him take it. So go back for that. Should be any time soon. Might want a teammate to come and get it, or you might just want to stack it up further. Red armor is a hundred armor points. Yeah, absolutely to the Yellow oh, armor as well. Here we go. He's taking a lot of machine gun in the back though. Only 48 health. Got to be careful in that regard. But with that armor, it should be pretty difficult to take out. Takes out oh, two low. Stacks it's gonna be a here, we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Gizmo running at the quad again. Seems to be his trademark. Look at the score, there's only four frag difference between the teams now. Should be doable on this run alone. Make that three frag difference go down, gets the yo uh, lower yellow. He needs to end though, in a significant position at the moment, he's kind of. Well, red's okay, but it'd be nice to go back to bridge. Can he just so push bridge? Last bit. second. Pull out the rail. Interesting weapon to pull out there, but... Wow. Just mass amount of players shooting him down at the same time. Great rocket from Zerg Spirit. He's going to pick himself up a rail. Still hitting 65% with that. And Proc do remain in the lead despite that absolutely stacked quad. Could be said a little bit of a missed opportunity there to bring it back to a drawn score and maybe even take the lead. But it's looked pretty good for the last few minutes of the map really, hasn't it, for Umpire? Yeah. Your boys? <laughs> My boys are going to win. This is. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Netta takes out his teammate. This coming through into the squad area still a fair amount of time before the next power up. <laughs> you have no idea what time it is. It's 50 odd, is it? Dude, I'll give you that, you push that. <laughs> <laughs> Two frag difference, proc still in favour, but they're going to come up that bounce pad in face a lot of resistance. Piers missing his rails, but it is a tied game. Amazing plasma by Kerbin, does a lot of damage to the attackers. Oh my god, this is great defensive play by Onfa, oh my god! And there we go, the quad pick up by Prezerg, moving straight away towards the red side of the map. Red is up. Look at this, every time, Gizmo. Every time. He somehow manages to run straight into the quad. And this is great work, straight back to the bridge. He didn't really have the weapon though, and Appleseed absolutely humiliates him. With that shaft, just wrong weapons for the quad there. Even with red armor, I mean, Appleseed just demolished him. 37% LG for him. I wonder if he had Mega to survive that quad MG. Yeah, he did come out pretty healthy. Curve and taking that Mega there. So, on fire, I've obviously got. Some control of that. Just look at the stats of those items quickly. 18 to 11 in favour of Proct. Yellows are pretty close, but the reds are way in favour of On Fire there. And we've actually got more quad pickups from On Fire now by one. Now we do have one quad remaining. That's potentially going to be the decider. I mean, MDF's got 100 armour and a railgun. If I were him, I'd try and hold on to that rail. And use it to fuck up the quad. Oh my god, he's what? been boosted up somehow. That was the <laughs> weirdest angle. I thought he was just going to step onto the bridge casually there and take control. Kind of got unfortunate. Only left with 8 health. Doesn't really know what to do. He's in a difficult position, but that's great play. Gets a nice frag. Fifth impressive of the map. Looking for that lower yellow. It isn't up. 58 health now. He could hear underground, surely. The player's moving through that water. He's got to go and defend that bounce pad attack. Hits the rail on Appleseed, Netta that was, on top of the quad, MDF, great play, brilliant, brilliant play. Although he gets railed and taken out by Gizmo, goes down himself, Prezerg takes it. This should 
secure on fire the victory here. They're already 11 frags up. Mega health oh. picked. Can you have five ammo for his shotgun? Just be a little bit careful. His friend could probably drop him the shaft. I think he's chasing him for it. He doesn't actually need to get kills though, because we never want us one this. 13 francs in 40 seconds. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, so that is a great turnaround on this map from on fire. I mean, it's been pretty close the whole way, but Proct must have had the lead for the majority of the match. Just these last couple of minutes, on fire brought it back in the lead. Final quad secures it. They did some fantastic quad attacks um, on fire. Like, from coming from red armor, is absolutely brilliant. The way they reach a quad and able to have someone with armor, able to do a run as well. Was it the coordination? Yeah. I mean, you, can, you can really see their team play, like the way they were sending up players um, in front of the stack of players. Um, to like, maintain the stack and everything. And there we go. Standout performer has to be MDF there. <laughs> 19 net, and every time we followed him he was just doing something uh, pretty impressive. Actually, did they do less damage overall? Maybe a fraction. Yes, I think they did. Not a lot in it, it's like a couple of hundred or something. So we're going to go to, uh, I know you dislike this map intensely. Fucking hate it. Oh, it's awful. Hate it. God, the Brits hate it especially. But, uh, well. Yeah. Good opportunity I, for you to impart some wisdom then on how to play this map. Like reveal our tactics. <clears throat> yep. All right. Best starting to get on this one is Rocket Yellow. Clearly. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you different. Then after that, you want to prioritise quad shotgun. Hugely important support item. Time that. Keep it away from them. This is all gold I'm giving you. Make sure you uh, camp the mega at least three players, if not four. <laughs> There's a defendable room as well. <laughs> There's a spawn point you can rape. So yeah, just think of it as like red in Team 14. Just harvest Very similar to Mega. Yeah. <laughs> and if you do happen to find yourself in LG Yellow, generally you want to just drop off as they're about to spawn and sort of run down to Mega to have a look if it's up. And make sure you've at least heard the opponents sort of moving towards Yellow in the upper area before you do that. And then just come up the stairs blindly. Don't even assume there could be anybody there. That's the best way to play it. Right, let's have a look at the teams again quickly. Gizmo, Appleseed, Netta, Zerg Spirit remains the same for Proct. They are 1 0 down on maps. 2 on fire, which is MDF, Freezerg, Fervan, and Piss. No substitutions. Same teams going into the second map. This is what we like to see. Same teams. This is Euro Cup. 24 from clan base. Group stage is still. I haven't actually checked the groups, thinking about it. So I'm not really <laughs> sure which group this is. <laughs> Probably should do that in future. <clears throat> so, this one. I'm gonna go with on fire again. Gonna go with Proct then, again. <laughs> <laughs> like, mind, they've already won one map, you're going to have to install League of Legends this rate, you should already be downloading it. Just cycle Ooh. around, Gizmo got that railgun for Proct, but it looks like Onfire got the yellow lightning gun. Wow, that rail's dropped straight away to piss. And now a rocket launcher, it's one to one though, and the frag's Kervin palmed off oh, to him. We're going to switch to Kervin, I think, because he should have the stack. He's got lightning gun plasma. On fire of every major gun that got shot, dropped in rain wow. before the second item was So Spirit just beast Kervin and stole that LG away from him. Netta's now picked that up. They're in the quad position, Prox. Exactly what you want to be. Can spawn 30 seconds to the end of the minute, remember. I have a quad time. Here we go, on fire coming in for the attack. Zerg Spirit, excellent defense so far, though he did drop that plasma probably. At the wrong time, and there we go, Gizmo going down, Zerg Spirit got a close spawn, but it's not going to count for anything at this rate. Appleseed fragged, and Pierce comes out on top, only 4 health is going to get fragged, peaking there. Well, we know it's a late quad now. 
And so, what I would suggest, the rush back to the LG yellow room. In fact, Netta's come out on top in that position. We saw two of his teammates getting the mega health below. In fact, three of them were down there. I guess uh, that's to do with spawns more than anything. Netta just sitting in this room. Probably wants to move out and take out those two players inside the corridor. It looks like they're playing a pretty heavy defensive game in this yellow room prop. Three players there at the moment. All four, in fact. Kevin's in the position to, to relieve some damage. He's got red rail, um, a grenade. Switch to Kevin's point of view. He just hit Zerg with a rail, so he's doing his job well. There we go, Zerg Spirit taken out. Still 100, 100, 8 rail slugs remain. No oh, real ammo. He would have to go back to the rail spawn. They're going to make a push now into this yellow room. As brilliant play. And look, there's the yellow up. In fact, they've got a drop shaft on top of that. I didn't think they gave away a frag either. They're so well coordinated, aren't they? On fire, it's incredible. Oh my god, just walks right over the telly exit. What the hell? The whole prop team came through that telly. I know it's uh, quad this minute, but it's, it's even now it's pretty early to set it up. Anyway, Zerg Spirit's sitting on the spot here. He's got a shaft. Takes out Piss, who seemed to have a railgun. Didn't actually drop it, but. Wow, Zerg Spirit doing a great job defending this quad area. It looks like they could be in a strong position for this power up this time. Kerbin's uh, going to be the one to watch to attack. Model 5, he's got about 75 armor and shaft. He needs to get there. Mm, just going to. Whoa, he's hit Zerg Spirit with a rail. Oh my god. On fact, almost sneaking in there. Zerg Spirit probably wants to drop his LG, doesn't he, to the quad? No, he chooses. To... Only 13 health for Gizmo. He has got 80 armor though. What a bizarre stack. <laughs> oh. Misses those rails. Oh my <laughs> god. Almost douses the rocket. Look at that. 50. Four so HP. tempting. Oh no. Misses another. Well, I don't know why he's even using rail at this rate. Oh, sugar. I just switched off. Moving in. Oh, just shafted down by Prezerg. So not the most effective quad run in the end due to his health really more than anything. And just missing those rail shots. I mean he had a lot Oh my god, just drops the rail away. Gizmo grabbing that blood, yeah. One weapon you don't want to have stolen off you on this one. So these two teams playing this map pretty close at the moment. What are each team doing well? Procked doing better on the quads. I mean, the first quad was clutch, because it was 58, it was ridiculous, you know, when it's that day, you know, it could be anybody. But the second quad propped a far better defence of it than uh, on fire did attack him. But between the, but between the power-ups, on fire being the team to watch in terms of team playing actually attacking the yellow, and they were winning it back. now. So it's now time to set up for this next power up. Netta rushing out of that room. Two direct rockets from Breezerg. Drops his shaft as well. Oh my god! The plasma damage somehow kills the teammate. Wow, I don't know. Gizmo getting the machine gun kill from nowhere. MDF only 31 health sitting on that squad. Oh my god, he's dropped the round, giving it away. What the who the hell's gonna get this? It's curve and comes out with it. It's only a one frag difference. Make that a tied game in the rail from Gizmo. Finally starts hitting those shots at an important time as well. Probably doing a pretty good job of just wow. getting back <laughs> into um, LG Yellow, like straight after power ups. I think from what we've seen, Proctor probably have more control of the LG Yellow, but when on fire attack it, they do generally win it because they're just well coordinated at doing that. I'm sure, if we look on the. Uh, Right, so a nice roll from Kervin. Look on the red pickups. Yeah, on fire got more red pickups. They've actually got more yellows, but obviously it's quite hard to tell whether they're just getting the back yellows. There's that red up. Kervin does just grab it right in front of Nettie. He's got plasma and rail to work with. Firing off that plasma to a teammate. Gizmo going down. Sort of meaningless machine gun to nobody. Giving away the frag there. Proc still just on top, and here we go. Typical position with this rail, just putting pressure on that yellow room. J 
generally want to do that and not necessarily um, just to stand there and hit those rails, but with the purpose of just weakening the players inside the yellow room, then you can do a coordinated attack to win over the shaft yellow. But Kervin just sitting in the back, I'm going to cycle away from him, not really doing anything. Piz, not too much himself as Appleseed gets him in the back with the shotgun. And we're leading up to a quad, yeah. A cycle round, see who's there at the moment. Well, Net is already in position, takes a pummel from MDF. Nice rail shot, drops off. 50 is below and he's just going to return. That's actually excellent play. Great rail from Netta again. Props looking like they could be in a good position here. And there they are. Appleseed picks it. He has got a shaft. Only 21 ammo though. It's like he didn't realise he hadn't got that much ammo at first. Got to be careful trying to push out with only 16 health. Is the 50 up. He's run out of ammo on the shotgun as well. Oh dear. Quite a bit in favour of uh, Prox after these uh, past power ups and LG control they've had. I mean, despite the advantage in red that are on fire, I mean, Prox have had way more megas to make up for that sort of HP um, like hit point advantage that you get from the red, so. 11 to 2, I mean, it's pretty significant. Yeah, really, it's Prox have had the better map control. Here goes Zeg Spirit with the rail. He misses his shots though. Prezo grabbing that rail off him. He's got a shaft as well. He's 100, 100. Don't sit in here. Get the hell out there and do some damage. Uh, misses his shots. Let's have a look at some of his stats. Nice LG, 40%. But... Well, rush attack from Propt. Did give away a few frags doing that, but they also did a lot of damage in taking out the stack player as well. Appleseed coming out on top in that machine gun battle. I'm going to cycle away from him and doesn't have too much. Netta getting that yellow rock. It looks like he's moving down and waiting for the Mega, maybe. The Mega's now. There it is. Well, he didn't. I don't think he had a time on it. He was just waiting around to see if it would spawn and kind of got lucky. I think he should have. I think Appleseed picked it up before him, so. And just the way he reacted, I was going to. Quad is up in a second. He's taken look two rails already, so that mega stack and the armor's nothing great. Oh, first rocket didn't take out Kervin. What are they doing? <laughs> Who's going to get it? Right there, they've decided it's going to be Piz and two right, it should be as well. Mega's up in five. I wonder if he knows. Doesn't. He stays around. He takes game. this staircase route. It's a very dangerous route to take, but he did have support from teammates behind him. Oh, machine guns! Thanks a lot. There it is, teammates securing it for him. Good work from on fire. Teammate dropping that lightning gun as well. He's got four kills, five kills with the rail. And takes out Zerg Spirit on fire. Go ahead, great run. Shows how powerful Quad can be on this map. Wow. Proc just take back that yellow though, kind of drop the ball there on fire. Quad taking control of LG yellow and then just, well, moving out and they gave it up. Yeah, Appleseed just straight back in there for the quad. I think, I think he knew from his fight previously that the quad didn't that much and he would be able to retake it back once the quad had finished. Good ref from Appleseed takes out two players. Probably going to go down here, but team will come out on top in control of the area. It's just committing so many players to the yellow though. I mean, kind of a surprise to me that they would sort of need to do that. And cycle around. They're so... The, the problem is, the more you sit back in there and give away rails, the more dangerous it is to sit in yellow. See, MDF was there again. But a couple of lucky steals of rail, and like when they've been on fire, been like dropping it between players, they have managed to see that at least twice. They've done that, which is like a massive bonus. Right, so. Drop rail again there. As we're following Netta at the moment, leading up to this quad. On fire, are in position at the moment. Netta does a decent amount of damage, but oh, quad goes down. Appleseed takes it out instantly, and then. Kind of just committed suicide almost, but 
Gets a nice spawn for the yellow and the dropped LG that he just gave away, in fact. Mega picked as well, and Sunny Apple Seeds tank to the brim. See what On Fire are doing really well is whenever Procs have the yellow, they're constantly pressuring it, constantly from that back room, just firing nades in, firing rails in, whatever they've got, stopping Proc from moving out as easily as they uh, they might do normally. At the moment, they really haven't got anything. They're about to lose. Wow, Apathy doing an amazing job around that red area, and his weapons weren't lost. Zerg Spirit coming out, getting the face, does drop the shaft though, this could be dangerous as you see the team moving in in front of Kervin's eyes into this yellow, yellow just spawns as well, well timed attack in the end and they go two frags ahead again, can cycle around, have a look, Piz, he moves into yellow looking for weapons I think here, yeah, he's got the armour, 60, it's a little uh, strange tempo to this map so far, it's not constant, it's just the odd wave now and again of attacks on the yellow. It's like one team will spend a little bit of time stacking up on the red side, get a couple of weapons, then move into the yellow altogether, win it over, and then it's the other team's turn. It's because whoever wins yellow doesn't have very much, you know, they want it over. Well, maybe Proc have had more of a stack, but whenever on five you get it, they have like nothing. Here we go, quad coming up, on fire, in position for it at the moment. Preseg sitting on top of it. Here's going to get two easy frags because the rush onto the quad area was a little bit late from Proc there. And in fact, on fire have gone up uh, by quite a bit. Quad goes down to Netta's rail, fourth impressive there, 50% for him. And Proc do retain control of this yellow, in fact. Didn't all of on fire go down there, so they shouldn't be too worried about the yellow room. Well, it seems they weren't all there anyway. No, the, um, I think Piss killed Appleseed, and Appleseed had the shaft, the mega, and you know a lot of guns for Brock. So killing him just like removed a lot of weapons from their arsenal. They got to like stack up the shaft player again. So it was an important kill that he got, and it's gonna stop Brock really sort of building a play and sending him out, especially with the amount of pressure. On five, but on Shaft Yellow as well, so. MGF sitting on this rail position. Did just pick it, should have a time in it every 30 seconds. Weapons will spawn. Well, 30 seconds after they're picked up. anyone's game. Five frags. God, I've never nothing. seen it actually this close. I mean, I've seen close games in this map, but it's, it's so close. Four frags. Red armor picked up by MDF, the superstar from the first map. Got on fire. Third impressive. Oh my god, somehow just like ran through that grenade. Oh, didn't that one. Although, with the yellow armor pickup, he's got still got a massive stack of armor. Doesn't want to take too much damage before this power up. Good machine gun test brings him down to. Oh, only 25 armor left now after a red and a yellow. Kirby just on the last shot of the wave oh. rocked as well, so the yellow player had nothing. Look at this defensive play. This is where they're building up most of the frags, in fact, the defense of the quad. Nice rail from NDF, fourth impressive. 36% though. Gotta be careful again. Seven. Oh, he does get the frag on Zerg Spirit. Oh, the 50's not up. Is the 25? No, but the three, five bubbles are. And the 25. Oh, he's been hunted down by Zerg Spirit. What a great rocket. Takes out two of them. Three of them go down, in fact. Looks like he had the quad. Again, not, not, uh, not absurdly high statistics there by Zerg Spirit. 25% rail. Probably not actually had that many shots though, if you're only hearing that. I think if On Fire want to win this, they're just going to keep denying those quads. Oh my god, uh, On Fire, yeah, sorry, MDF just picked up the red with four health and just got railed, so. <laughs> if Netta saw that, 
and pick up the red and then get killed. They really need to push on to that area now and just pick up the frags. They should have a massive advantage with that yellow. Sorry, what do they need to do? I think the moment Proc to get a quad, they're going to win the map. Assuming like nothing changes between now and then. I mean, Appleseed's really dangerous if they can kill him. That'd be a massive bonus as well. They're doing a lot of damage to him and Mega. He's just backing away with the MG. Zerg Spirit could be the stacked player for Quad. Looks like he's on his way there now already, though. So he's not going to stack up any further than he is. He's got a couple of frags already. That was actually worked out perfect timing. Takes out two players with weapons from on fire. It's only a one frag game. Penultimate Quad about to spawn. And it looks like it's going to be procs pretty easily. Unless on fire make a last second gasp or rush for it. Well, they did, but it's kind of a stupid one. They're just going to give away frags there, though. The rail does. Oh my god! Such poor rails. Zerg there. We kept them in that. Look at that. Nine impressive pre Zerg. Guess we're getting the machine gun frag on him though. I'm going to cycle around. Apple seed, mega health pickup, 55 armor, rocket launcher in hand. We know he's pretty adept with this rocket launcher. Combating the rail player, Kervin. We just see constantly, constantly, constantly just running to that back room, pressuring on the yellow. It's worked pretty well for on fire. Nice rocket from Apple Seed. They just kind of need to keep the pressure on Proct here. Don't let them get stacked up. If they do, it could be really dangerous. Zerg Spirit. It's got a nice armor stack. Has rocket launcher and plasma. Not too much health. Honestly, he needs to be using this. Rizzo taken out. He's blown himself up, though. I'm going to cycle away from him, have a look into this main area. MDF only 90 health shotgun. Rizzo going down pretty easily. Curvin sitting on the rail position. 60 health, 90 armor. He's going to be the key guy for on fire at the moment. Well, they've dropped off position. All oh, three proc players. He's actually missed the rail, though. That was very lucky for proc. That you missed that rail shot. I don't think he'd have survived anyway. I mean, he had a rail gun on top of the stairs. He just can't do the damage. Paper. He's actually effectively Team wasted his red thing before the power up. If you make a move like that, it's got to pay off. And it looks like Proxy in position. A lot of beautiful stream of plasma from Appleseed. Again, great bit of plasma work. Who's going to take this quad? Looks like Appleseed wants it, but he doesn't have anything. Oh, yeah, he does. He has shaft. He goes down. He's fragged. One fragged. <laughs> what the oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't actually notice he had shaft, but wow. What a I don't even know what happened there. People just sort of appeared out of the air, flying in. I think for the first time in like 10 minutes, on fire out the shaft. Could this be the undoing of them? One frag margin, 30 seconds remain. This is where it has to be key for prop. Just don't rush in there one player at a time and give your frags away. Oh, I think it's now got two players with LG. Oh, but, oh my <laughs> god, where was that? A rocket? Just Took so much damage. They did be calling their teammates to get there, but maybe not now. No, they've lost it. Apple oh, seed now has the shaft. It's a tied game. 10 seconds Ten remain seconds. on fire. Just one frag ahead. Yeah, Apple seed feels the need to just move out straight away. Look for those frags. Teams are tied. In fact, Proctor ahead. Four seconds go. Three, two, one. Apple seed. Go again. It's overtime. Oh my god. Wow. Bloody hell. This map. It's been so close. Apple seed drop in his rail. Now it's so important to regain control of the key areas, the lightning gun yellow. They all moved out of it looking for the frags of course. Looks like props are in there now, Prezog trying to hit some rails in there, hits his 10th impressive, that's a look at his stats, 55% rail, that's a good amount of impressives and for a player on this map. I have to say as well, often teams f totally forget about the quad in overtime. So, and how close it is, yeah, it's coming up. There we go. It looks like on fire have got players in position already. Well, Crocs are attacking though. Freeze their good defensive shotguns. Drops it to Netta though, who seems to have had a stack because he takes some big heavy shotguns there. Oh my god, the rail from Piss. Just taking out Netta. And there's the quad pick up. Oh my god, a grenade frag. 
What's Appleseed doing? Oh my god, peeks and manages to get away with it. Oh my god. Does pick up the 25 railgun in hand. Oh my. What? What are you doing? You they stole the shaft off the quad. What are they doing? What is he doing? Oh my god! What on earth? <laughs> That's just. What was that? Well, I hope that really doesn't cost Croft now. I mean, that was just mental. The guy must have picked up Mega as well. I mean, surviving that. 150 damage pummel. Three frags, 50 seconds. Oh, four. I think they may just hold on yes, to this. It looks sports. like, yeah. Looks like. On fire. Ah, gonna take it in two. Gizmo, yeah, going down and. Well, I have to say, Appleseed's quad run there, stealing the LG off him, him trying to do some ridiculous point blank range rails with quad. Kind of cost them a game. Him. Him. Yeah, then he, he hit him with a gauntlet and he didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he must <laughs> have had the, the mega, mustn't he? Yeah, but even so, oh, that's 150 damage. Yeah. Wow. He probably got the spawn, picked up mega, and then. <laughs> what can I say? Right, so brilliant match and uh, on fire are your victors in the clan base Euro Cup 24. What group was it? Uh, I don't know, Z. Z, know. group Z. Okay, thanks Batija for joining me. I've been Disrepute. It's been Level Up Your Game.net.